The South Bay and Border Region includes National City, Chula Vista, Imperial Beach, and San Isidro, which sits next to the U.S.-Mexico border. This diverse region with half a million people consists of an array of communities with their own cultural and linguistic backgrounds. However, community conditions such as a lack of access to educational opportunities, housing, healthy foods, medical care, safe parks, and public transportation create systemic barriers for community members. So how do we work to improve equity so that the South Bay and border region can have opportunities to thrive? The Partnerships for Success and Youth in Action programs led by the Institute for Public Strategies are committed to working alongside communities to improve community health. While the Youth in Action program engages young community members ages 12 through 26, the P4S program works with adult community members. With our program's combined efforts, we are able to create culturally and linguistically appropriate tools to increase access to opportunities. Through two main focus areas, youth empowerment and park equity, we are able to work with community members across generations to find equity-based solutions to improve opportunities for all of the South region. Allyship plays an important role in our programs. It's through partnerships that we create spaces where we can build trust within the community. When we come together, we can address community issues and advocate for equitable solutions. To advance our park equity initiatives, we have created and will continue to expand a multi-sector group with the Otai Valley Regional Park Rangers, local schools, artists, young and adult community members to create a community presence and advocate for better park conditions. We aim to elevate youth voices to push for policy changes and are in constant communication with students to take lead in our park equity initiatives. Within our youth spaces, we hope to create safe environments for leadership development and self-empowerment. We know youth have a strong voice and by empowering them, they can learn to advocate for themselves to improve their communities. In addition to youth empowerment, we also want to constantly listen to the current needs of the communities we work with. We work alongside those with lived experience to get a deeper understanding of how we can come together to collectively heal. In leading resilience training along with constantly listening, we stay trauma-informed and support the community's autonomy so that they may create different outcomes for themselves and their communities.